So far, so good for most of the high school football games around town tonight. One of the big matchups we'll be following, the Brennan Bears taking on one of the top teams in the city, the Jay Mustangs. But before we get to football highlights, David Sears went to both schools for some classroom highlights, and he joins us now. Loving the series you're doing on academics. Great stuff. These kids are smart. We met a few future artists. Ooh. And Ooh. <laughs> engineers who just might change your future. Ooh. Yeah, check it out. Okay. When the students at Britain High School walk down the hall, they are greeted by a mural of various historic artists. It's really cool because it's like, oh, welcome back, you know, here's your art piece. This unique creation came from the minds and talents of Mrs. Rogers' Art 1 and 2 classes. It has everybody's description and it has everybody's, like, meaning. Um, every individual person has something, like a story, and their story's, like, on the mural. The project started as a way for students to get to know each other, writing a word on paper to describe themselves to classmates. Then they each got a small portion of a portrait and worked in groups. You couldn't really tell what it was because it was just a little piece of paper of a big project. When I first got it, I had no idea what it was until I started drawing it and then I realized it looked like an eye. But then I was like, is it a male or a female eye? The small paper turned into a wall-sized creation. Welcome to the John Jay Science and Engineering Academy. From computers to 3D printers to actual components, all building our future engineers. They are all future engineers with the goal of making life better. But taking different paths. Raviel Thrash wants to go into chemical engineering. It's a very wide field, so it's never boring. Although he does have it narrowed down a little to nanotechnology. Currently, they're doing research in uh, using gold nanoparticles to cure cancer. The students are learning to design parts that'll be printed on a 3D printer and then tested for usability. Right up Christian Castellanos' alley, especially since she likes math and the idea of working with her hands to create things. Her future? Working on airplane engines. I I think Where's it's fascinating, connection? like just knowing, you know, this tons and tons of weight is in the air flying. Christian also fascinated with the idea of advancing engines and airplanes. When you go on an airplane, it's always like Shh, sh, sh, all these big noises and everything's going on. So hopefully we can advance planes to make them a lot more ergonomic and easier to fly with. Looking forward to flying that airline. David Sears, KZ12 News. These kids, the tell you. Fear not for the future. I mean, we all three have Ooh, college that, degrees. Very well said. Yeah, we, have, we have college degrees, and they sound smarter than all of us combined. Well, they're doing stuff that we never even dreamed about doing this up in high school. I mean, they start in middle school at this engineering academy. They start going to, to classes and learning all this stuff, and they get that 3D printer, and they're making parts to... Well, it's you know. mind-blowing. Yeah, it I mean, yeah. the kids, uh, you, you hand them your phone, and they do stuff yeah, with it. You're like... Right. So. And to be able to draw what? and not even, they weren't even together. I mean, they were each doing their own individual thing. They put it all together and, and there it they is. got a mural of a, of, a, of a face. It's like, this is just... We're growing up, stuff. all we're worried about is cassette tapes. These kids are talking about nanoparticles. <laughs> nanoparticles. Yeah, I was like standing there listening to this guy, and I'm like, okay, what? Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just Did you pretend? Because it sounds good. Yeah. Like, I got no idea what you're talking Listening about. to, yeah, that's <laughs> when you just nod your head. I agree. Oh, I, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Fascinating yeah. stuff. <laughs> David, thank you. And they will find the cure for cancer one day. Through who's next? Stuff. Do you know who, who's going to be next? Uh, won't, next week, we're, we're out, but then the following week, don't know. I have to look at the matchup and see who I like. Okay. Okay. Stuff. David's description. Good job.